is your girl Tama stitches so today I want to show us how to drop this beautiful high and low box print skirt but I'll be, I'll be drafting for a smaller a, a, a child so what I want to do is to cut the front and the back together because I'll be box printing the skirt it's gonna be having a big band a band of two or two and a half inches that what the range you can use three or four inches depends on who you are sewing for so but for my own I'll be using uh, two and a half inches the measurement I'll be needing is just the waist measurement then the full length the back length and the front length the back length is higher than the front length that's why it's high and low now to get the waist measurement whatever your waist measurement is because I want to box print the front and the back I'll be adding adding 8 to 10 inches allowance to it which from there I'll be removing my zip allowance so that once I, I gather it together I'll box print it to suit in the waist measurement I'm working with if you join us for the first time you are highly welcome thank you for subscribing with us if you are just viewing please subscribe give us thumbs up and also press the notification bell so that once we upload any new video you'll be notified immediately so let's get started now i need to fold my material into four and in a triangle form first of all i folded it here into two then i folded it back now now it is four you can see it's into two four then i now fold it in a triangle form okay so first thing is to insert the waist measurement I'm using. My waist measurement, don't forget, comes with the allowance for the box printing and the zip allowance all together. So by the time I finish adding 10 inches to my waist measurement, I'll be working with 36 inches. With that 36 inches, we'll now divide it by 4. You divide that measurement by four, you'll be getting, I'm using my tape, nine and a half. And you see, divide that nine and a half by four again, because what we we'll have here is uh, eight. So the waist I'll be using here, here now I have the front and the back it's all the same length so what i want to do first is to notch the center here i'll take the center and give it a notch here so i'll remove the back aside and work with the front so here is my front So, like I said, I need to mark the low of this uh, front now. So, now, I'm working with the front. I folded it back. Here is the center front. So, I need to measure the, the, the length of the center front. What we have is uh, 18 inches. But I'm going to be minusing that band from it. So by the time I minus the band, here is where our 18 inches stops. So I could just take it round, just mark it round. Okay. Now I need to connect this place. This is my low part to the end stream of the side it has to be equal with the side so let me use my ruler and see how it goes this curve ruler i want to from this edge start coming in towards that mark i did just from there go like that
the aim here is to join the tip of that side so that by the time you open it up the two sides will be equal the sides will be equal so see where i'm coming from you can look at the chalk mark just take it there you're coming down towards what i have here is 14. now this is the low okay so i'll cut it off now don't forget i, I can still use this for the band or anything so it's not a waste your cloth with pin your fabric so it will not uh, shift okay so this is what we have Ta -da. so now this is what i have here So the waist I have here is far more than the waist I need. So what I have here as the front piece is 20 and a half inches. But the waist I actually need is 23, that's plus one inch sewing allowance, that will be 24. So I'll be dividing that 24 by 2 for the front piece, that will be 12. So I need to get 12 here. So what I need to do now is to box print. Now I'm going to use wisdom to box print. When you are box printing, you consider that you have to get the waist you are looking for. So I will mark it and I'll box print it just like this. Folding this way, folding the other one the other way. And if you like, I can start from the center. I already not have a notch at the center. Let me measure... Let me measure four inches here. Yeah? First, need to get this side is my first bus print, and I'll hold it with pin. I measured four inch and pulled it to the same side. For another one, not that much, but I suppose print it comes out beautiful. So I'm struggling to achieve 12 inches here. So, you can see the two I've done. So, I'll do that all around the front and the back and bring it back to you. So, I've box print just one big one in the center. It depends on what you want. If you put more allowance, you box more. If you don't put more, I can start to put just one big, beautiful box print like I did here. See? So, I'll be doing the same to the back and then I'll cut the band. Here is our high and low skirt. I've cut the front. You can see how low it is, but it will still match by the side. It's still equal by the side, you can see. So all I need to do now is to cut my band and attach my skirt and box print like I earlier did. But in case you want to convert this skirt to a gown, it's still easy. Let me show you how to go about it. You can decide you want this uh, off shoulder gown. So what you do is to get your remaining material. 
Now this for a child. So I'll be minusing you have between three and a half to four inches for the off shoulder of a child. So if I'm minusing four inches, so I'll now be marking the armhole. The armhole that will be marked here will now be six inches. Then you will see place the shoulder. The shoulder I'm working with is six and a half. You see place that shoulder. I said you place your shoulder, but you minus half a uh, four inches or three and a half inches. It depends on who you are working, you are sewing for. So when you minus your tape is on head, so this is where this armhole stops. Now from there, now you can get your waistline, which is the half length. So the half length you are dealing with here is twelve and a half. So all I need to do is to place my bust measurement. The bust measurement we are using here is 25 plus 1 inch sewing allowance. That's 26. Then 1 inch dart allowance. That would be 27. So I'm going to say 27 divided by 4. Whatever you get, you place it here at the chest line. Then you go to the waist. Waste divided by 4 plus sewing allowance, whatever you get, you place it here. And I'll join it. This is what you have. And then the armhole too. Don't forget the parts. So let me cut it off so that you see how it looks. Now this is what we have. Okay. So you now come to your boss palm measurement. The boss palm measurement we are using here. Just use two and a half or three inches plus as a child. So using two and a half. So that you'll be able to insert your your dart. Mark it all through. Now insert your half inch dart allowance and join it to the chest line. Oh, you can even take it all around like that and then just. This is all we have. So I will cut it. I'll just cut off the darts. Just cut off the darts. So this is all we have. But don't forget to have not cut down the neckline. So for the neckline, you can take um, two inches or less. So I use one and a half inch and connect it to that armhole length. Do that before cutting so it will not be stressful the way I'm doing mine. And this is what we have after cutting it. You can see how beautiful. Just a little sweet hard neck. 
so i'll be cutting the back also i'll cut the back so i've cut off the back piece also here is the back piece I cut the back piece into two because of the zip allowance here. It's a small tight close, so it looks a bit pieces, but you understand it. No balls, no nothing. So you can see here. Here is our center with the zip allowance. And then here is the side. And here is the side. You can see where we remove the dart, small dart allowance from the side. So this is the back. Back piece. And this is the front piece. So, but you have to understand something that if you are to cut this uh, skirt, this high and low skirt, for just somebody who is at the big size, who doesn't really like box printing a lot, you will only cut uh, extra allowance only on the front. The back will only take zip allowance while the front will have extra 10 inches so i'll be able to box print it very well you box print only the front and leave the back if that's what the person wants but for a child you can decide to box print front and back so it'll be very full that's what we're trying to do here so this tutorial comes to an end here if this tutorial has been helpful please give us thumbs up like subscribe and share our video put in your comment in the comment section if you have any requests, go to our Instagram page. Our Instagram page is Thomas underscore 19. Thank you for watching and stay safe. Looking at this uh, waist is far more than what I need. Let me measure what I have here. Um... Hey, mommy. I need to I'm in a video. What do you want? I wanted to collect something. You're always coming to collect something. Let me just go. Don't come back again, no, please. No, 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 no. If I do, I can do. Is your room, mommy? Get out.